Estou aqui em Milão e estou preparado para dar a aula que fui convidado. Dentro de uma hora estarei na sala para ministrar essa aula, cujo objetivo é mostrar o porquê do aumento das dimensões do tamanho e calibre do pênis para receber um implante de maior tamanho e calibre, receber a prótese peniana num pênis reconstruído para que a prótese seja de maior tamanho e melhor calibre. <risos> Why you have to have in mind 
to create a proper uh, small incision, staggered incision, and in outer gate rocks, like dermatoms, the same idea of dermatoms. Here, I'm treating lens restoration that is linked by the, the neuromuscular gum already dissected. This is the urethra that no need for urethral elevation. You can just release some corgi, grasp the glands, stretch it, and you, you can see that you've got the maximum length restoration linked by the bone. If you create large defect, avoid it. If, but if you create a large defect, you can put suture between them and move back for a small defect. And in this situation, prevent use of bread. First, I spend the, the, the tunica for to choose the largest possible cylinders. Here I'm creating the dorsal major space, preserve as much as the sponge tissue. This is the place that I try to put the cylinders. It's very important to select the cylinders after enlargement. Once the cylinder is on place, you can give add more relaxed incision if necessary. And you can anchor this anchor to avoid misplacing, displacing. As I told you, if you slide defect, put a suture between them and you move back for a small defect. With the same subcoronal incision, I can insert the reservoir and the pump without extra incision. And you can cover the shaft with the, <coughs> the bump special. It's very important to inflate the, the cylinder inside to check plant's hypermobility and axial regime. And in this situation, you can put some suture and treat at the same time. There are three clinical measures. First, interluminal pressure, <coughs> cylinder spandability and tissue spandability for best deterioration to obtain the best axial regime. The interluminal pressure, it was best in, in the lab, is very important for, to avoid bumping. From lower to higher interluminal pressure, you have a higher uh, axial regime. It's why the first is interluminal pressure. Second, I have to treat the tissue to promote expansion for best deterioration. This is a lab study that I put some, some sleep to restrict the cylinder and the cylinder bump with less pressure. And if you have rear tip extend, you have no inflatable part and you have bump. For this reason, it's very important to promote <coughs> tissue expansion for better deterioration, to choose the largest possible cylinders and for the cylinders to perform better in <coughs> best deterioration. If you ever restriction in the cylinder, in this area, it's going to buckle. It's very important to, to test the buckling at the time of the surgery. It's why once you insert the cylinder inside the corpora, inflate it with the proper uh, interluminal pressure and test to prevent buckling. Adding rear tip is bad for axial regime because you add no inflatable length to the prosthesis and you have less buckling resistance. <coughs> Try to choose the largest inflatable cylinders to insert deep on the gluta. Based on the lab principles to apply in surgical tracks, axial regime is based on interluminal pressure. The best DL ratio, the cylinder is going to perform better. It's why you have to think to expand the tissue to, to allow the cylinder stability. If you have restriction, you have low bucking resistance. If you increase the, the, the length, you have to increase the knee, the diameter. 
trying to avoid the rear team. It's why first expanded the, the, the corporate to choose the largest cylinders before if we try not to insert the cylinder to expand. In this situation, with a good interluminal pressure, a good pressure, the, the penis is bending. If you insert the cylinder without expansion, the tissue, the cylinder is not performed better. It's why first I expand the tissue by multiple relaxed incision based on dermatomics and the mathematical formula for expansion. I apply. This is a vertical incision for girth restoration. How to optimize axial regime? First, once insert and expand the larger cylinder, I inflate it and I check axial regime. If it is bendable, in this area, I have a restriction. In intercorporeal restriction, I can add more vertical incision to allow the cylinder to expand. If it expands, good axial regime. Second case, it's bendable. Despite the good intraluminal pressure, I put more relaxed incision to refine the core. This patient was referred to me because of bug. MRR showed cylinder restriction. I deploy the penis and add more relaxed incision to allow the cylinder expansion and good extra regime. And this is the late follow up after treating the, the restriction. This is the medial length again. But the main principle is to adapt the best TL ratio on the corpora for the cylinder to perform better based on DL, proper TL ratio inside the corpora. Thank you very much.